All right, so you're done. But there are some other mach machine strike people probably in the Forbidden West. Or maybe even in Barren Light. Come for another round? Yeah. I guess that's it. Wait, the Bristlebacks? Is, is it highlighted? So the Bristlebacks and the Daunt. No. You're a pig. Blasted things, those Bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out. Now Ulven can't crank it to his advantage. He'll drag his feet on getting this place running again. But sooner or later, he'll have to blow that whistle. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Mm -hmm. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the Bristlebacks came out of Olvin's old mine. Oh, here we go. Now, there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge. Grab my ear if you nail it down. The shipping manifest. Was that not good enough proof? I have to go. It was good to see you again, Petra. And you, Flame Hair. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, okay, so we did have a new portion of dialogue there. We'll have to be careful then. Some people do have updated dialogue around here. Maybe Javad could give me some counters on what to do now? Or we'll tell him. We'll tell him about what we found. A complaint form smudged with ash and filled with angry glyphs. My eyebrows! Javad, please help! The product in question maimed me! I filled out the required form below, and I still can't even get a refund from Della and Boomer. I beg you, give me justice! Complainant. Jordert Guardsman. Product description. Bangbuster, I think? Boombuster? Does it matter? I bought it three days ago. I know you remember me. Incident description. Again, I just told you. I was demonstrating the scorched out hammer to my fellow guardsmen by slamming it on a piece of rock, and instead of booming the rock, it boomed towards me. And now I don't have any eyebrows. Am I surprised? Am I sad? Nobody can tell since I no longer have eyebrows. So in case you weren't aware, let me tell you, I'm very unhappy. And I want my shards back. Refund denied. Customer was made fully aware of the prototype's volatility at the time of purchase. Proceeded to purchase regardless, proclaiming, I am not a baby. <laughs> no refunds. So Javad has to deal with this kind of thing too? Wow. Must be, must be kind of tough around here, but um, I've got some good news for you. Savior, what news do you bring? Picked up the bristleback trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think... That Alvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. So it's not over yet. I need to go. Of course. We haven't exactly discovered the true origins of the whole thing. On hold. Okay. So we, we just can't discover it for now. We have to progress with the whole embassy stuff. All right. Interesting. So we can't get the bell to ring then. Or I can't... <laughs> the, the whistle. The whistle to be blown. All these stores we can't really visit. Hmm. To the brink. Oh, no, 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 no. I think the work can begin because we've cleared the bristlebacks. It's just that the, um, we're trying to discover where they came from in the side quest. Okay, so we can do that. Proper survey of the valley. 
If I'm gonna find out where the Bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going? Because we don't know what's beyond the passage. Yet. Not yet. Olvind. You know what we need? Prop. Just look at the way this whole thing is set up. He's relaxing in the shade while everybody else is working hard. What happened to that hammer you lost? <laughs> it's fine day for oh, don't worry about it. You're back? Well, that's just great. Hmm. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. <laughs> Surely the delay- Either you do it now or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. Wow. Huh? The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! Uh, uh, you. What? Sound Get the up. whistle. Chain oh, scrape no. is open for business! Terrific. Great. But he's really Yay. pissed at me inside. <laughs> and Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> Merchants are now available. You can purchase new equipment, restock your resources, and sell stuff. Items in the valuables to sell category are always safe to sell. Okay, good to know. There are stitchers for outfits, hunters for weapons, herbalists for potions, and cooks. Oh yes, I should get a new stew, right? Other merchants have their own unique stock. Visit a new one when you encounter them. Okay. Now the chance scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Where is Wadis anyway? Shouldn't he be in chain scrape somewhere? Or is he still back in the beginning? Haven't seen him yet. Out there a little too rough for you? Just wanted to see if you have anything else to say. I've wasted enough of my day talking to you. What a shame. <laughs> He's too scared to really go against me because I am the savior after all. He doesn't want to piss off the one person that people do like and respect. So that's uh, something good I have going on for me. Didn't forget your tools today, Let's did you? visit some people. Alvin must be thrilled. Yeah, we can look at the merchants now, finally. But what about the workbench? Actually, I should probably look at the merchant first, I imagine. Pouch upgrade. Okay, this is this is always gonna be good. Hunter arrow quiver, raccoon hide, metal shards. Yes. Peccary bone. What is a peccary? Wow. Rabbit. Rabbit and peccary. J wishbone. Okay, J is a bird. Okay, resource pouch? Yeah. Horned lizard. Oh, there's a lot of little wild animals now. I haven't even seen half of these guys. Or maybe I have, I just didn't realize. Bomb satchel. I don't really need it. But if we can make it anyway, I guess that's alright. Unless if I need the boar bone for something else. Which I don't think is the case. Okay. Sweet. So we gotta be on the lookout for stuff like squirrels, peccaries, whatever that is. It kind of looks like a four-legged thing. Maybe like a boar? What size is it? I don't know. Guess we'll figure it out. Trap crafting. I can make an acid trap. I should be using traps, but I haven't really been using stealth this whole time. Because we keep getting discovered. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then for the upgrades, I will talk to the merchant first. Next thing I know, brought out only the good road. stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. 
You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Oh, she was waiting in line. I don't mind waiting behind her. Fire hunter bow. Fire. Warrior bow. Sharp shot bow. The bow is a fire hunter bow as opposed to... As opposed to like the arrows being a fire arrow. Okay. Osram specialty. Well, I don't have a fire thing right now, so I feel like I definitely want it. Oh, okay. It looks like... Okay, if I buy the Fire Hunter Bow, it means that I can't use normal arrows anymore. Am I reading this right? The normal Hunter Bow has normal arrows and acid arrows. And the Fire Hunter Bow has fire arrows and acid arrows. Is that my understanding? Really? That's a bit... That seems a bit strange. Warrior Bow. Commonly used by Karja Military. Fast Firing Bow for Close Range Encounters. Sharp Shot Bow. Slow Firing Rate. Powerful at Long Range. Which can destroy components instead of tearing them off. Ooh, that's, that's not a good thing. If I'm trying to collect it. Well, I can buy all of these. Should I buy all of them? One is fine. Oh. Okay, I see. I can have both... A hunter bow and a fire hunter bow? Do I need that? Let's put it... Uh, yeah, let's put it here for now. Warrior bow. Okay, long range and short range. I'll buy the long range one first. Actually, I can buy all of it. Yeah, I guess there's no reason for me to hold back. Hmm. So maybe what I want to do is, instead of using my Hunter Bow, use the Warrior Bow from now on as my default bow, and then we'll be using the Fire Hunter Bow whenever we want a fire thingy. Is that how that should work? Fast travel packs, smoke bombs, resources... Buyback. I want to sell. Tools, resources, valuables to sell. This is okay. Sell all this. Really? Even the... Oh, even the Apex... Whatever? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. I, I scrolled all over the place. They said earlier, valuables to sell is okay. So ancient black bracelet. The watch. Ancient bright bracelet. A nicer watch. Or another watch, I should say. Ancient chimes. Apex leap blaster heart. Oh, this is only for money. Bronze ingot. Ancient wreath. Ring. Apex wide maw heart. I thought these were upgrade resources, but it doesn't seem like it. Pristine tooth. Ancient toothpick. Iron ingot. Toothpick. No, that's like a that's like a can opener or something. <laughs> Processed metal block. Okay. Sweet. Key upgrade resources, bristleback tusk, burrower sound shell, charger horn. Okay, good, good, good. I'm not really dying for money right now. Thank you. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. Don't be rude to your customers. She was waiting. Ammo that deals fire damage is now available. Use your focus to scan enemies to see if they're weak to fire. Build them up to the burning stage. When they're in that stage, the state, they are on fire and will take damage. Shoot blaze canisters with fire arrows. When do you think you could fix this lucky hammer of mine? Shop just opened up and I've got a backlog of orders, so wouldn't hold my breath. Sharp shot bows are powerful, highly accurate, long-range weapons. They have reduced accuracy when fired while moving. Cannot be aimed while sliding. I think we... I do think our wheel is a little bit redundant right now. Yeah, the f the hunter bow and the fire hunter bow seem like... It's too much. Warrior bows, quick, firing, short range. Maximum damage even when not fully drawn, but not accurate at long distances. So how do I edit this wheel then? Actually, how do I do that? Uh... 
I don't see like a inventory. Okay. But I have it fully upgraded. That's kind of why I don't want to... Yeah, I'm not sure if that's... We'll see how this goes, okay? You just gonna stand there? Oh, I kind of want to edit the wheel directly. Is that possible? Like, I want to change the position of the stuff on... On the wheel. Maybe I gotta unequip it and then... Yes. Warrior bow... I put the coil on the hunter bow too. Well, let's see if I can upgrade any of the bows that I just got. Oh boy, we have a lot to look at now. Sharp shot bow. I could keep using the fire hunter bow as my default, but I get the impression that always using fire is not something that we'll want to do. So that's why I'm hesitating a little bit here. Maybe I want to make the warrior bow my main one. I think we should try it out first, though. Like, we shouldn't be upgrading without looking deeper into this. But it doesn't seem to cost too much. So, okay. Fire hunter bow. Oh, yeah. Charger circulators. Charger horn. So we gotta go kill some chargers then. There's some right outside. Oh. I think somebody mentioned to me that if I want to keep track of what I need to upgrade, I can create a job. Right, so I think this will make it so that it shows uh, components I need to get. Which I don't think is something that I actively want to do right now. If we have it, we have it. If we don't, then we'll look for it manually. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a thing that we can do. Sharp shot bow. Yeah, I don't know how much we should be upgrading this. We haven't even tried any of it. Not yet. Missing braided wire. The slings and the tripcasters I'll leave alone for now because I don't use them enough. Okay. Woo! Right, so that gave me a fire hunter bow job. Which, okay, that's nice, but not at the moment. Deactivate it for now. Yeah, we only have the main quest besides for the job, actually. So we probably want to go out and look for a little bit of other stuff. Hello? Now we're at the outfit person. Awesome explorer. Traveler's attire, crafted for melee combat. Plus one critical strike, plus one power attack. How do I know... Compared to the Nora Anointed. It's got some more acid protection, but I have some too. And I also have shock protection. So I think I'm okay for now. Nora Huntress. This is good against arrows and frost damage, I guess. Skills, silent strike, heal, low profile. For sneaking. Mm. I'll buy one. I'll buy this one. I'll just buy it. I'm not gonna equip it for now. I think what I have right now is all right. You know what? I can actually buy all of them. But yeah, I'll just I'll just keep it on me, and that's it for now. Don't you think I forgot? I never forget. You could always get a new garment for every purpose. You can't just replace. I think we have some other merchants here. Let's see. Ah, Vodis is here. Yeah, we should go talk to him in a sec. Cook? Herbalist. Herbalist. The potion person. Right here. Oh, hey! Thank you. I don't really have to scan anymore, which is wonderful. <laughs> Hi. So I can buy... Small health potions from you. I can't even hold that many anyway. Cleanse potion. Status removing and defense boosting brew made from plant and animal extract. 
I have three already, although I don't even know how I got it. Okay, that's nice. Thank you, but... Next no thank you. Here, then. What about the cook? Can I get an extra stew just to uh, have around? Oh, this'll really boil their broth. I'll add a sprinkle of chili to their desserts. How perverse. I can have one local stew and then some other ones. If we have the materials. Bitter leaf, bitter brew boar. Recover concentration faster. Pot stomp. The one that we have right now is plus 20% maximum health. Stamina regen? I guess I'll just get the pot stomp. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. So let's go back to... Wadi's then. He's right here anyway. Here? Really? This side. Where does the Magistrate live then? If this tent here is Wadi's. No, he's just standing here. Where's the tent? The tent was- Oh, he packed up already! He's packed up! Hey, Jorof. Okay. <laughs> the way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. It's studious bodies, Jorov. Yes, we have to walk, I'm sorry. No, you can't sit on the cart. <laughs> well, now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. Fantastic. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a Gaia backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the daunt some more first. If we're talking about the daunt, yeah, there's a there's. I'm pretty sure we'll come back here again because there's places that we're missing tools for. And then these people here, I'm not sure when they're gonna open up for me. Baron Light is right over here, so along the way we can go to the hunting grounds and then also this one. And yeah, I think we can move on. It's okay. Sure, we'll get some charger or upgraded wire while we're here. And I think we're also missing some charger horns, right? Oh, what's this? Oh, there's new stuff! Hold on! Is that Petra? <sighs> Petra, Petra! Hey, Petra, I'm gonna be leaving soon. So I guess I'll see you... Never, basically. Well, hey, Ray! Look who's back! Fancy a game of strike! Not today! <laughs> Aloy, back for more, huh? Another round here? Heard you've been busy. <sighs> As for me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. I saw. They won't let anyone up the old trailhead southwest of here. Mm. And therein lies the problem. 
A storm bird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. Shadow Karja? But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tolland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? Yeah, I could do that. But there's Shadow Karja. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Karja refugees? Refugees. Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Karja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan clean brokers ever lost sleep over any law breaking. Maybe they deserve it. If they're poor and looking for a way to get up, maybe they deserve that heart, you know? Who is this Tolland clean broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? <laughs> Olven might think so, but Tallinn scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. Did we meet Tallinn? One of the merchants here? Did this update again? So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> You're a pig. Can I skip this? Blasted things, those br They just showed up one day, rampaging around the- Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. Oh, so that changed. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvin? Right, so it's gonna Two explain words. it to me again. Olv He's hoping until the consent. This is just his. He's been trying to. About that. <gasps> no. Why the f. Okay, so every time we change something in the world, they update the dialogue and it shows you subtly that they updated. But it doesn't really integrate nicely or naturally, I guess, because you gotta go through the whole conversation as if you've never had it in the first place. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Tallinn has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have a word with him first. Where would he be? That's why I was wondering, have we met him already? There you go. Okay. What's that though? I want to see that too. Um, this way? Oh. Oh, my little charger is so nice. It's just sitting there so nicely. How many times? It'll blow their damn arm off. You I'll say that like it's a bad thing. It is. It's an incredibly bad thing. Wait. Wait. The person throwing or the person catching? Walk it up, huh? The thrower. Oh. Della and Boomer, the people who didn't refund the guy that was crying about his eyebrows. I, I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh. Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! Where are we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Wah! But you just knock! <laughs> I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder, it'll blow a strider sky high. Ba boom. One shot kill, guaranteed. What about my eyebrows? Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine enhanced, explosive, done in one, machine wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? Tell me more. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. 
Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. Sisters? <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. <laughs> I wonder what Aloy thinks about being alone. After all these years, she probably doesn't really think too hard about it. And uh, I'm I'm sure I talked about this back when I played Horizon Zero Dawn too, but as someone who grew up as an only child, when I was growing up, oftentimes I would yearn for a sibling to share, you know, to be able to play a game with or something. So it's it's the the grass is greener on the other side, Della. So she's your partner? My apprentice? And my sister. She's why we're out here. There was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Is that why she's called Boomer? <laughs> Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective, yes. Basic, undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. A boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better, namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns intact. Great. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get him for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Sounds good. Charger horn. Fang horn rib. And I also need charger horns for my own upgrading. So we need a lot of charger horns. Okay. Now back to the other one. We want to talk to Tolan before we head out. He has a shop here. He's harassing the people... The ex Shadow Carja refugees. Not again. Oh, I haven't been here before. Come on over here. Oh wow, there was a whole place here that I just never really walked too close to. And the icon doesn't appear until you walk closer. There's a melee pit here. There's Toland. Um, you know what? I'll talk to Tolan first. <laughs> Sorry to be a tease. Just give me a second, all right? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Toland. You're too kind. Shouldn't have. Tolan Clean Broker. Uh, it's you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to cards, you lovers. On your blasted way. So we're seeing an example of somebody who is... very anti karja He's closing his shop to me, actually. Hmm. Even though we're on Karja land right now, officially Karja land. But it's like a little Osram settlement within the Karja land. By the forge, ain't you ever gonna leave? No, I'm just here to bug you. Away with you. Got no time for Karja sympathizers. 
So someone like this would respond very well to Alvin being like, Oh, the Karajars are the ones who let the Bristlebacks into our place and they're ruining everything. We want the decree. And now it's a matter of how, like what the proportion of this kind of person is like, like as opposed to people who are, you know, more clear headed. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you wanted to speak oh, to him? Oh, God. Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there, and not just against machines. Name's Odurg. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight? You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West? Who? The Enduring. A legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You'll have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. That sounds fishy. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Got some interesting information here. The Tanakh are split into three capitals and clans. Probably this information will be good for when we try to find machine strike people too. Chain Scrip is basically like a mini tutorial town. Melee Pit. Test my close quarter fighting skills against other human opponents. Okay, interesting, because I've always just been like, oh, just mash something and then things will die. <laughs> Combos. Tutorials. Okay. Challenges. Practice. Well, let's see if there's some nice tutorials first. Oh, Resonator Blast. I still don't know what that is. I don't think we need all these, but we have to do it. We have to do it to unlock that one. Oh, hi. Yes, light attack. <laughs> light attacks are fast, but easily blocked. So learn to combine them with other attacks. That's it. Do they really have to do separate tutorials for this? This seems kind of... <laughs> Slower, hit harder. Heavy attacks break weapon blocks and do more damage. But they're slow, so your opponents might counterattack. Mm -hmm. Power attack, hold. This is really, really slow. Whoa! But it's very powerful. Next round's on me. Power attacks smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage. But they're slow and leave you vulnerable. So pick your moment. Okay, good. Oh, you need to learn the resonator blast and the skill tree to unlock this challenge. Oh, okay. I thought I was I thought we had to do the first three. This one we need to learn Nora Warrior. You know what? We have some, we definitely have some skill points just sitting here, so maybe that's something I want to look into. Resonator Blast. It's a melee thing? Oh, the challenges. I need to learn Block Breaker, Resonator Blast, and yeah. I get a pristine skull as a prize. Block Breaker, Resonator Blast. Is it worth it though? These are melee only skills, right? So I basically have to like invest in them even though I don't necessarily I might not necessarily want to do that. Warrior. Resonator blast. Active skill. 
Strike an enemy with melee attacks to build up energy on your spear. Then when fully charged, tap R2 to energize your target. And then switch to a bow and shoot the energy to do a lot of damage. Okay. These challenges, we have to unlock specific stuff in the tree to activate it. That seems a little bit like, mm, well, I'm not against it. Block Breaker, Nora Warrior. R1, 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 R2. Light, 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 heavy. Block Breaker. Light, light, heavy. These are all different combos. Okay. Critical boost. Gain greater chance to land critical hits. Okay, so now that we have this, can we... Can we do the tutorial? What? Here to practice, friend. I set up some new training while you were gone. That spear of yours seems to energize after yeah. attacks. I think landing heavy what? attacks or combinations yeah. will energize it faster. <clears throat> Block breaker. Yeah. Nora warrior. Those are the skills that I just got. Now to use that energy, try attacking your enemy. See if you can energize them. So my spear is glowing now. And their armor's off. Everyone Shoot the energy. My joke. <laughs> <laughs> the savior of Meridian wins. Oh, interesting. That could do a lot of damage. Usually I use melee as a way to get some damage in when I can't create distance between me and the, my enemy. But this is showing me that, hey, okay, melee is a more viable option than I previously thought. Okay, interesting. Charge of my spear, basically. Woo! Oops. What? Wrong input. Single attacks are child's play. A real fighter combines them. Practice this combination as a starter. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. I see. Oh, wow. This, is a, this opens up a lot of new stuff to do for melee. Block breaker. Time limit one. This is a challenge. Defeat your opponent by overcoming their weapon guard. But be careful, as blocking opponents could counterattack at any moment. I can't even block, right? I don't think we have a blocking option. But we can block break. Oh! Block break? Does that work? Defeat your opponent with a block breaker combo. Come on. If your opponent keeps blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. Oh, I don't have a I don't have a bow right now, so I can't use that energy thing. If you keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks in combination. Make yourself less predictable. And that was a big one. Close attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. We barely did that. Yeah. Oh, oh god, I hate time trials. Interesting, though. Yeah, this makes melee a lot more interesting. Resonator Blast. We have to defeat our opponent with a Resonator Blast. Okay. It means that we should be trying to go in periodically, as opposed to just being like, oh yeah, I'll just stay away all the time, and then I'll use melee if they come really, really close. But that's an accident. That's more of a... Um, it's not a planned thing. You think your spear can deal with that armor? Use attacks to energize your spear. Then hit your opponent with a heavy or power attack to blast the armor off. Ever wonder what, what the? One woman and she like hey! She took hey! That spear can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. Oh, I just had to trigger the blast. Oh, I thought I had to 
Defeat him? Okay. Okay, cool. Pitmaster challenge. Put your melee skills to the test to defeat Oderg, Chain Scrapes Pitmaster. He is strong and direct, and uses an awesome fighting style. Okay. Can you do better? Sorry, I don't have time to uh, no! no talking aloud. I see how you earned your reputation. Yeah! Yeah! Attack. Under the table yeah! Good. A good series. He doesn't have time to talk. Yeah! An impressive <laughs> attack. <laughs> Fight well. Good series of attacks. Good. Good. I see how you earned your reputation. Ooh, ooh, can I heal here? You fight well. Good. Good series of attacks. Oh. Yield. I yield. Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? Yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here, have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you, Hodurk. Don't be a stranger now. Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. His whole setup is giving me trypophobia. <laughs> I don't like his glasses or whatever they are. But thank you for the pristine skull. Okay. This setup reminds me a lot of the Witcher games. I should go. I'll be here if you want to practice more. We have the fist fighting. And then we also have the Gwent. Lots of little activities for us to be getting into around here. Cool, cool. 